We all know how to use Google Search. Simply open Google and type in what you're looking for, right? However, if we continue with the cheetah search we started in the previous lesson, you can see that if I type in cheetah, I get 43 million results. That's far too many for me to ever sift through. What if the page I really need is the last one on the list? That is when knowing how to use Google's advanced search options becomes very useful. To access advanced search, click on the gear icon in the corner and select it from the list. You now have a set of options or filters to narrow your results. The first filter is for your main key word or words, such as cheetah. Google will search for this word anywhere on the page of all of the results it finds. The second filter allows you to look for an exact phrase. For example, if you remembered the name of an animal sanctuary, you could put it here and Google would look for these words only in this exact order. The third filter allows you to look for keywords that may be on the page. For example, if I'm looking for where cheetahs live, I might type habitat or lives. The results will include pages with my keyword from the first filter, cheetah, and either one or both of these additional keywords. If I want to exclude results, for example, if I don't want any information about cheetahs living in zoos, I would type zoo into this filter. If you are searching for information that includes any kind of measurement, such as dates or weight or even cost, you can determine the range in here. Once you have told Google exactly what you are searching for, you can then narrow your results by using the second set of filters. You can choose your language preference or the region you would like your sources to come from. You can also select a time frame. For example, if you are looking for a news article that you know was published earlier in the week, this is a good option. Selecting the type of domain or a particular site to search is very useful as well. Often, for school research, we like to use sites that end in .edu, which means that the site is run by an educational institution. Or you may want to find information from a particular site, such as the World Wildlife Fund. You would just simply type in the name of the um, site you're looking for and would like to search. Then Google will only search that particular site. You can further narrow your results by having Google only search for terms in certain places, such as in the title of a page or the URL. You can also opt to have safe search turned on. At school, this is the default. Okay, At home, be sure to turn it on to filter out any inappropriate material. If you are looking for a particular type of file, such as one from Google Earth or let's say a PDF document, you can select that here. And lastly, you can search for information by usage rights, selecting those sites that you are free to use or even modify. You have now narrowed your search and should find results that are just right for you. You can refine your search even further using some of the tools that you will find at the top of your search results. Using the filters from your advanced search, you can find appropriate images, such as habitat maps, or even videos, or relevant news articles. Whichever filters you choose to use, you can see we have narrowed our results considerably, from 43 million to 19,000. While this is better, there are still too many results for me to look at. I better give more thought to what it is I want to find out and refine my search even further. To practice using your search skills, why not play the Google a Day Challenge? You'll be a search ninja in no time.